Welcome back to another episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm Gary Malewski, the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine and your host of today's hot seat. I have a special guest today. Adi Ashkenazi is my guest, the VP of Products of XM Cyber. Let's learn about his company. Adi, welcome. Thank you very much. Pleasure being here. So what does XM Cyber do? So we've de developed the world's first uh, APT simulator. APT stands for Advanced Persistent Threat. Threat. And basically, it's a machine that simulates attacks on your uh, network safely, of course, without harming uh, assets on your network. And it shows you the kind of vectors of attack that are most likely to be exploited by hackers in the wild, while also showing you what, what type of remediation uh, action you need to take in order to block those uh, vectors of attack in the first place. So hold on a second. The big companies like uh, Bank of America and others, they get these red teams and they're hacking and they're testing and they're pen testing and they're trying tools to, you know, metasploit and all these to break in. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you've automated that kind of process? So yes, I mean, those tools that exist today are really relying still on manual labor to operate those tools and to get the insights out of those tools. So you're still looking at, you know, even, even very large red team is not capable of covering a very large network like the networks of those kind of companies. So our system completely automates this process and, and takes that, you know, all those insights and knowledge of different hackers from around the world and scales up to, to uh, you know, to be able to hack large networks automatically. That sounds amazing. Now, is this something where, in, when you talk about users as well, is this something where you're testing them through a phishing attack as well as other simulations like a SQL injection, etc.? Is it a whole um, array of different kinds of exploits and tests from human interaction to just machine tests? Exactly, and this is, uh, this is very similar to what you would see in the wall. So a hacker in the real world maybe will have a couple of steps of lateral movement using you know, software vulnerabilities for which he doesn't need any kind of interaction. But then he would wait on you know, a specific endpoint for someone to actually perform an activity that he can later leverage. So we're looking at all this next, and our solution is as patient as a hacker would, sitting, lying, and wait for events to, to happen in the network, mm -hmm. while also taking care of uh, making use sorry, of basic uh, activities that do not require user activity. How do you keep up with the latest threat models? Are you constantly evolving your engine or system so that when you do your automated red team testing, it's always the latest and greatest? Yeah, so we have three sources, I'd say, for information uh, for our research team. First, there's the internal information. Mm -hmm. You know, we have great security researchers. They're interested in what's going on in the wild. They look all the time for new types of attack attacks. And they're also researching new things on their own. This is one. Uh, then we have, you know, the open source, all the kind of things that you can get in, on the internet, all the types of public attacks and things like that. And finally, and I think most importantly, we have our uh, customers and partners. So we're seeing uh, internal red teams, and sometimes red teams are afraid of this type of solution, but we're actually augmenting them. Mm -hmm. And we're taking the, the, you know, the wisdom of the red teams, the creativity of the red, red teams, and we're using it to add methods to our uh, database of attacking methods. So the system or the, the machine becomes smarter the more customers and more partners we have. So Adi, we've talked about kind of the red team with APT simulation mm -hmm. and remediation, understanding really where are the weak spots on the network by automating that process. It sounds wonderful. But I also understand that XM Cyber has something that you call purple team? Yeah, so when we look at our solution as a whole, we call it a purple team because it combines uh, both the red team and the blue team. So what usually happens in, in a company, you have the red team, which is separated from the blue team, which is responsible for actually remediating the problems. And if you look at the way our product works, we simulate the offensive cyber part, which is the red team, but we also provide you with all the you know, actionable remediation device that you need to uh, fix all those issues, which represents the blue team, which is why we call our product a purple team. So you mix red and, red and blue and you got purple. And you got purple, exactly. All right, so you have a product that covers the spectrum of, I'm gonna find a hole automatically, mm -hmm and I'm gonna show you how to fix the hole automatically. Exactly. That's phenomenal. And this is at xmcyber.com. Yes. Okay, well, that's another episode of Cyber Defense TV. We had Adi in our hot seat today, and I'd love you to check out xmcyber.com and learn more about Purple Team.